At this point, let's get started with some of the concepts in Microsoft Word 2010. So we go to Programs and then find Microsoft Office and go and open Microsoft Word 2010. As soon as you open the program, notice that a blank document already opens up automatically. And I'll just briefly go through some of the components in the Word 2010 interface. In the very top left, we have the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add more components to this and remove them, and as I'll show you in a little bit. Then we have on the very top left, we have the File menu, and this is where we have additional options. So if you click on Options, we can get to see other places where we can change the configuration of Microsoft Word 2010, such as saving other documents where and how often to auto save them, changing the language, advanced properties, and all that type of stuff. Then we have the Office ribbon here. The Office ribbon is a collection of these different tabs with their sub-menus. And then within each menu, you have the these blocks or sections that are called groupings. And within each grouping, then you have the actual different commands here. In Office 2007 and 2010, it's more visual. So the idea here, and this is the concept here, is that you have the Home tab with the most commonly used commands. And then as you're improving on your document and working on your document, then you're inserting additional components to it. And to do that, then you'd go under the Insert tab. And that's where you have pretty much all the components that you can insert in the document. Then you go under the page layout, and that's the section where you modify the layout of the document. And then you are working further with the document, and you want to change, for example, references, where you want to add footnotes and uh, different types of styles for writing. And you want to do mailings, where you want to do mail merges and labels and envelopes and so on. So you can notice the progression here as you are creating and modifying a document. So that's the basic concept in using any of these Office documents. You start with the Home tab, you look as to what the options are there, and then you ask yourself as to what you want to do and utilize. By the way, uh, the best way to learn about the program, and as we are embarking in this discovery of the concepts here in Microsoft Office, the best way to learn is by really exploring and clicking away. Nothing is going to get broken and just explore what you can do with the features in Microsoft Word and Office and other programs in Windows or whatever computer programs that you're using. Otherwise, you could spend hours and hours and still trying to figure things out. So the best way is just explore it. So you have the Office ribbon here with the different tools. And each section of the Office ribbon here, you have also this expanding arrow. If you were to click, for example, on this one under Paragraph, it's going to give you a little window that gives you additional options that you can customize for that specific section. So if we wanted to change the indentation and so on, we could change it and from here. And this is very similar to the old way of doing things in the previous versions of Office, like prior to 2007. To show and hide the ruler, uh, you'd click on this little icon on the top right, this will ruler go away, and then click again on it, and that will reveal it. Then we have the scroll bar here on the right hand side, and then on the bottom right, you can zoom in and out in your document. Further to the left, here in the bottom, we have uh, the different uh, modes for viewing a document. So you have the print layout, the full screen reading, the web layout, outline, and draft. And then on the left-hand side, far bottom left, we have the number of pages in the document, how many words are in the document, paragraphs, and all that type of stuff, more statistics. And then you have also tools for spell checking. And So uh, let's go ahead and hide the ruler at this point, and we are ready to type a document. So this is, as soon as we have opened, Word here at this point, we can just start typing the document. I have a document that I have just copied and pasted from before, and I'm just going to utilize that because we'll assume now we know how to create a document. And if we had to save this document, let me do that as well at this point, just as a basic concept here. 
you'll click on file choose save and then it will save it as a word document notice that you can change and save it to other formats as well from here so if i wanted to just save it just as a word document click on save notice we have the save button on the top left under the quick access toolbar if I wanted to create a blank new document, I'll click on File, and then choose New, and then choose Blank Document, and that will open a blank document. To reuse a document from before, I'll click on File, and choose Open, and then go and find my document. Uh, those concepts might seem too easy, but you might be already familiar with them, but I just wanted to throw them in there because if we don't understand the starting point, then we can't go probably further. So at this point, I have a document here, and uh, I want to start changing it, modifying it. So to format this and make it different, I could select it and make it bold. Notice I have all these tools here under the font, so I want to change the font, make it italics, underlined, and all that stuff. But the nice feature in Office 2010 is that I can change also the font size by just tapping on this Grow Font icon. And I can make that larger or make it smaller. And then I can change here the indentation, whether I want this centered, or a line to the right or to the left. Again, the idea here is that you want to really play with this stuff, otherwise it will go on forever here. So notice you have the different, just hold the mouse on each icon and it will tell you as to what that icon does. So let's say we have Office 2010 and the components for Office 2010 are and let's say we want to have this in bulleted list. We just start typing and then I choose here the bulleted list. Notice you can choose different types of bulleted lists or different types of bullets as well. You can have the square type or you can have the numbered types. So in Office 2010, we get Microsoft Office a Word and OneNote. Let's assume that we are getting the professional version of it and we also get Microsoft Access. So this is your $500 version of it. So this is how you basically create bullet lists. If I wanted to change those to a different type of listing, just click on the drop down here under the bullet list. Note that one of the other features here is that you can actually select part of the text and you can actually alphabetize the text in a certain order. So if I wanted to put this alphabetically, this list, I can simply click on the drop down here, click OK, and now everything is alphabetized correctly and accordingly. A couple of little concepts as well for selecting text. So if you need to select something and modify it, of course you need to just highlight it and then just drag the mouse over it and select it. So to make any changes to it, you'll basically just need to highlight something first and then modify it however you want. It. Another feature is to double click in front of it and that will select a whole section or a whole line. So actually, the clicking outside of it will select, clicking once will select a whole line or a component and then double clicking will select the whole paragraph. So if I wanted to modify this whole paragraph, can just double click outside of it and that'll select the whole area. One other nice feature in Office 2010, and this was also available in 2007, is when you start typing stuff and you're selecting something, notice there is quick toolbar that appears for you to format the text as you're typing it, as you're working. So you could basically be anywhere in your document, select something, and then modify it by clicking on any of these icons. So the key here, or the helpfulness of this, is that instead of you having to reach with the mouse wherever it is in the ribbon and in the toolbars here, you have this quick editing toolbar that shows up in the context of where you are modifying the text. So in this document, let's say I wanted to see all the hidden uh, characters and so on, you can click on this paragraph mark and that shows the other hidden formatting symbols. So this will tell us where there are spaces and where there are paragraphs 
and indentations. For example, if I had two spaces after a word here, notice you'll have two dots in there. So that's how you can tell where there are extra spaces in the document. To uncheck that or to unhide these hidden characters, I can just simply click on it again and then it will bring it back. And now notice how in here there's an extra space. So briefly on the Home tab, this will display you the common components as you're working with a document, such as copying and pasting, changing the formatting of the fonts, the changing of the paragraph indentation, then styles, as well as editing. For example, searching and replacing. So if I wanted to, let's say, use here the find and replace. If I wanted Microsoft Word 2010, for example, the word 2010, for some reason this changed, you can simply click on replace and choose find 2010 and replace it with 2007. Let's say you had to do that. You can click on replace, you can do it one at a time or replace all of them all at the same time. And notice it has done 25 replacements. So now wherever in the document that has been replaced automatically. If I wanted to bring this back, of course I could probably undo it or I could do a search and replace again and then bring it back. So for now, for the sake of it, I'm going to undo the replace all and notice it's back to how it was before.